In this video, we'll see what the KYC process can look like for an investor when the KYC provider has integrated with Polymath's technology. For this demonstration, we'll be using the test co-token. You can see here we're on the Kovon test network, although the process is the same on mainnet as well. As the token issuer of TestCo, I can go over and check out my whitelist. So I can actually export the whitelist to see which Ethereum addresses are able to hold tokens. So I can export this, confirm, and I'll open up the whitelist here. And you can see at this time, there's only one Ethereum address that's on the whitelist. It has a sell restriction date, a buy restriction date, and a KYC and AML expiry date associated with it. It can purchase in an STO that we're offering. It is not exempt from any percentage ownership restrictions, and the person associated with this address is not accredited. That's what the test co whitelist looks like today. Let's see what happens when an investor successfully passes the KYC process that the security token issuer has set out. And just before we go see what the KYC process looks like, let's pay attention to this section here on the page. The test co issuer has delegated whitelist management to a third party here using this module. So you can see here, we've toggled this on to enable third party whitelist management and the test co security token issuer has added cabin here as a third party whitelist manager. You can see here, this is cabins whitelist manager wallet address and the test co issuer did that previously. And now let's see what a security token investor would see as they go through the KYC process with cabin. Now here we are looking at the point of view from the security token investor. They've spoken to the issuing company, which is TestCo. TestCo has given them this link so they can go through the KYC process. They'll sign up with Cabin, input an email and password, accept the terms and conditions in the privacy policy, and sign up. And you can see here we're looking at the TestCo follow-on public offering, and we'll join the whitelist. First we'll need to do the typical KYC, start the KYC process, country, and we'll upload some information here. There's our passport. We'll input our home address, proof of residence, and finally face ID using our device. And now we're just testing this out today, so we just see a blank screen here, but this would be a photo of the investor's face. And we've successfully passed KYC level three. Now we can see here the next step is to enter an Ethereum address and sign a message to prove that we have ownership over that Ethereum address. We'll verify a new address. And Cabin here is pulling this address, ending in E88, from our MetaMask wallet we have. So you can see here, address ending in E88, and here ending in E88. We'll verify the address, and we'll sign this transaction with MetaMask. There we go, we've successfully verified our Ethereum address. We have been approved for the TestCo follow-on public offering. And now that we've seen an investor get approved for the TestCo token, Let's head back to the test code token from the view of the security token issuer to see the now updated whitelist. We're back looking at the test code token from the point of view of the security token issuer. We'll head over to the compliance tab and we'll export the whitelist. And what this will show here is that our new security token investor, that address ending in E88, has successfully been added to the whitelist. We'll export the whitelist, confirm, and open up this new file. Success, we've seen this new address ending in E88 has been added to the test code tokens whitelist. So behind the scenes what's happening is as security token investors go through the cabin KYC process, as they are approved by cabin, the security token issuer's KYC provider, they are automatically added onto the tokens whitelist. So when the time comes, those investors will be able to purchase tokens. They will also be able to send and receive tokens subject to any of these restrictions. And there you have it. I hope you saw how easy the KYC process can be when using security tokens and polymath. If you're a security token issuer or a KYC provider or another participant in the security token ecosystem and you want to learn more about this, please don't hesitate to reach out to the polymath team. We also have a number of other videos that you can watch to better understand polymath technology and the security token ecosystem more broadly. That's the end of this demo. Thanks for watching.